How you doing? Um, welcome to Port Hughes, South Australia, and uh, and uh, a sunset uh, under a jetty for the time being, and we'll see how we go. Um, there's a couple of shots that I think might work, but it all depends. All depends on that sun and whether this cloud lights up. So, fingers crossed. There is a there's a fair chance it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to do some long exposure, as I was going to say. I think, no, I know, definitely I'm going to do some long exposure. And more importantly, is keep Rafi entertained. So rocks, rocks ahoy. And there he goes. He's enjoying himself. See, he knows how to have fun. We're out on a photography trip and he's having fun. He's having a ball. So a bit of that joy de vie. Take it with you. Get out and get some shots. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to, well, this is a dry rock and it's a big rock. I think I'm going to get on the other side of it. Um, or am I? Yeah, I'm going to try and get on the other side of it while I can uh, because I don't want anything to impede me and the camera all the way to those little um, crossbars that you can see in front of us. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's just straighten this up and see if we can get one good shot in. Okay. So we're going to set our focus, I've set the focus, I've lined the camera up directly straight with those spars ahead. So I've focused in on this first post here. Um, we had a 13th of a second, so with a 10 stop that should give us around about a minute. So I'm probably going to err on the side of caution and do the first one at F16 at 40 seconds. And we'll just test that and just see how we go. So that is done. And that is quite nice. Um, I think we can increase that slightly now. We're not blowing anything out, but the shadows are completely um, dark. So I'm going to whop this right up to two minutes. And that's just to get the shadows. So that's um, 40 seconds for the highlights. And now uh, two minutes for those shadows, because underneath this uh, Underneath this jet is very, very dark indeed. Okay, so. I do like the look of that. I'm just going to check the highlights. The highlights are slightly blown on that. Um, but again, we could probably go even further than we have. And see if we can bump those shadows up even more. Um, and give it a super high key effect um, because the sun is setting directly behind uh, this jetty so I'm going to give it this four minutes we could be could be in luck um, the light's starting to be subdued and it does look like there's some cloud on the horizon but I'm hoping the sun um, might break through that and provide a little colour color for us Oh, but either way, um, uh, I'm happy with this. If there's no colour, um, then maybe we'll go, we'll go black and white if necessary. But at the moment, more than happy with what we've got here. Thank you. 
for this particular shot, as you can see, took that centre column out for a reason. I knew at some point I'd be getting down low, um, or which I have. I can now to remove that bag and I'll put it with everything else. And I'm going to start by placing on a, uh, a grad. This one's a, a 1.2. We'll tame that sky slightly. Uh, because we've got the jetty, which comes in at an angle um, from the left hand side, I'm going to angle the, uh, the soft grad itself. So, as you see, when I put this soft grad in, it will act and darken slightly that sky. And I've put that in, as I said, at a slight angle. Just going to lock it like that. Now, let's get down a bit low. These flippy screens are great. I'm just going to adjust the polarizer um, just to take the glare off these rocks here. Okay. So, as you can see, you saw that polarizer. I'll just flick it again so you can see the glare. Everywhere is bright, all that water. And then if I spin it, it darkens and takes that glare off. Still allows that golden light to kiss the rocks but it takes that glare off you can see it's just dipping right at the very end of that jetty which is exactly where we wanted it so i'm just going to pop it onto uh, manual and then bring this all the way down in manual so that i can go lower and capture that that sun without blowing out and there we go and it is capturing some colour, uh, which is great. Uh, but I am going to throw on a, uh, the tent stop and throw it on for a minute. And then we'll go from that. You can really feel that light it is a beautiful orange at the moment. So we've got that where we've captured the sky nicely with some flat streaking. So. Now I'm going to bump it all the way up. I'm going to give it the four minutes. Go for it. And there you go, four minutes uh, exposure. I don't mind if the sun dips now because I've captured it in the 60 second exposure, which I'm quite happy with. And I'll blend the two. So what this one should do is give me super smooth water. Um, we'll see what the uh, glow looks like or the highlights look, look like. Um, but the second thing that we've got if there's any movement and there is a slight movement in that cloud you'll be able to capture that straight after this four minute exposure we're going to run over to the other side and we're going to shoot back to the other side let's get our composition right there we go so that looks about right three seconds six stop I think should give us around about three minutes so let's uh, adjust that six stop at one second gives us one minute so, in three seconds, it would give us three minutes to touch too long. Um, so, I'll just adjust that slightly. 
There we go. Look at that colour. Isn't that wonderful? Hey, get out. Got a camera. And I'm, I'm having fun. Don't care. Don't care. Whatever the day brings. Okay, so that's our two minute exposure done. And that is gorgeous. Nothing blown out at all. Uh, you know me. I'm going to throw on a second grad so that I can push it a little further. And I'm going to bump it to F18. The light's already dropping, so I don't have to worry too much about that. But I want the catch of the colour. So I'm going to go to F18 and I'm going to dial in four minutes. And there we go. Wow! Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Just one last shot. With the sun fading now, I'm just going to try a couple of shots here. 15 seconds. Catch of that, last of that sun and that colour. Just a touch, just a touch like this. So I quite like, I quite like the end of the jetty in this shot, strangely enough. So, it's gonna. F16, 20 seconds. Portrait orientation. And there we go. very much uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, our little outing here this evening um, I've had fun and after all that's what that's what I've been banging on about all video is to get out grab your camera and have some fun and luckily we were we were rewarded with a beautiful show uh, I'm hoping that I've nailed a couple of these images um, well you'll know by now because you would have seen them so yeah thank you um, I appreciate you coming along on this journey with me. Um, if it's your first time here and you like what you're seeing, you want to see a bit more, then please consider subscribing. Um, for everyone else, uh, thank you very much. I'll see you next time. So take care. See ya. <laughs>